alluded to it a couple of times, but obviously is open heart surgery and bypass surgery. Mm. So just wh- when would that be needed and what is that exactly? Yeah, okay. So generally speaking, th- there's your heart. You've got three arteries that sit on the outside of the heart. Now, if you if you cause a blockage right up here at the beginning of these two arteries, at the common origin, it's called the left main stem, okay? If you have an, a narrowing there, and you damage that narrowing and it pops, then all of that bit of the muscle downstream is going to be starved and you will die. There is, you know, that you're, you're a goner if you block your left main. You can't live. If you, if you have a bit of narrowing right down here on this artery, then it's only that little bit of muscle downstream there that's potentially at risk. And so even if it blocks off, you'd have a bit of scar, but you'd live to tell the tale have something to talk about in the pub and medical therapy to prevent all the other narrowings from getting worse now let's say you present with angina you're getting tight in the chest when you're walking out and it's cold and you're taking the dog for a walk and actually in hindsight six months ago you used to be able to do this dog fine this walk fine and now your dog's hoofing off ahead of you and you can't keep up because you're getting a tight feeling in the chest and you go to your GP and they give you some pills and then you get to refer to a cardiologist and you'd probably get a test. You'd probably get a CT scan of your coronary arteries, a CT scan. We just put contrast agent in your arm and then take a CT picture of the arteries. And you might see that actually you've got widespread disease in all three of those arteries. Well, you've got some options, haven't you? Option number one, put loads of stents in. Have lots and lots of them. And the problem with stents is they're metal, they're man-made and they can actually cause blood clots to form on them. So putting, putting metalwork in, generally not a good thing. You don't really want to be putting metalwork into anywhere in the body because it can go wrong. And it's scary as fuck to put in. Nah. <laughs> it's I, fascinating. I, I, I think they generally quite enjoy doing it, but you know, that's an entirely different topic. My, my dad had some stents, and he was, he was, yeah, he was in, in his element watching it being done on the screen. In a way, we won't interrupt. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Now, if your option is loads and loads of stents... Or the other option is bypass surgery. Now, what bypass surgery does is essentially it bypasses the narrowing. So if the narrowing is where my knuckle is, here, here, and here, you get an entirely new blood vessel, plummet into the aorta that comes out up here, and wrap it around and just sew it in downstream. So you're bypassing the narrowing there. And you would typically have, you know, people brag, they say I've had a triple or a quadruple, those are that, that's just how many grafts you have. So you've got three main arteries. So if you've got disease in all three of those, you'd end up with all three of them grafted. This one down here has a big side branch called a diagonal. And sometimes that can be a very big side branch and very important. So you'd put a graft on that one as well. And that's just the difference between, you know, a quadruple and a, a triple. You know, the surgeon will just see what's disease when he's in there and basically graft where you can get a graft onto ultimately but those are that that's generally speaking that so that will be done by a, a cardiothoracic surgeon because it involves a big scar stopping the heart for a while and putting grafts on whereas stents are all done by a cardiologist uh which is just a little bit of local anesthetic in the wrist you know and takes you know well you know one stent takes about 35 40 minutes lots of stents would take two and a half hours and where do, the, where do the grafts come from? Um, your main one is uh, what we call a lemur, which uh, is a, the left internal mammary artery. That's an artery that runs down inside of the chest wall and supplies the chest wall here. Now, you don't actually need a blood supply to your chest wall. There's plenty of other blood vessels that go there. So that's a really nice, reliable one. So you just disconnect it from the bottom, put some clips on it, and plumb it onto the heart instead. Uh, most people would have a lemur. Uh <laughs> And then you'll often see these people have got big scars coming up their legs. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they they take the saphenous vein, which is just one of the big veins in your legs, uh, take the vein, strip it inside out, and then plumb that in. And they just use that as sort of the conduit, just the new piping. So you'll normally end up with a lemur and two vein grafts. That would be your sort of your bog standard Mm -hmm. bypass operation. So so I didn't ever know that. (laughs) I didn't ever know they use your own... I, I don't know what I assumed to be honest with you, but <laughs> again, that's that's absolutely mental, isn't it? Yeah, like that's really cool. Yeah, like that they take it out of your leg and then put it in your in your heart. Yeah, it's, it's really it's fascinating. Turn it inside out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's good fun to watch. Certainly, yeah. <gasps> and and when when we say open heart surgery, it's literally that, isn't it? They cut the sternum in half and open you up. The, the, the sternum is opened. Uh, the the heart is directly visualised, 
as they would say, and then they they stop the hearts. They put you onto a bypass machine, right. but you can't. Well, you can operate on the beating heart, but it gets very messy, and there, there are only certain procedures that you can do with that. So generally speaking, you have to stop the heart, but you can't stop the heart because the patient will die. So there's a big machine called a bypass machine that will just keep the heart doing its thing, or just does the heart's job for them temporarily. Uh, usually buys you half an hour or so while you get on and do the grafts or you know replace the valve if that's what the what the surgeon uh, needs to do yeah. and then once they're finished putting the grafts on make sure there's no bleeding and restart the heart